there has been a sudden increase in interest among young dentists and dental interns about doing forensic dentistry or forensic odontology after BDS. Similarly, there are a large number of courses which are coming up which teach forensic dentistry. So we have decided to create a video about forensic dentistry and our opinion about it. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Satish Kumar and this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Before I dive into the video, I would like to remind you that this video is a part of series of videos we are making about non-clinical or non-dental options after BDS. So if you are interested, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that whenever we post your video, you will be informed about it. Also, do not forget to press the bell icon after you do that. It's only when you do that, that YouTube informs you when we post a new video. So, what is forensic dentistry? Forensic dentistry is the application of knowledge and principles of dentistry for the purpose of law and investigation. It is used in both civil and criminal law. Among the various cases in which forensic dentistry was used as a part of the evidence, the few prominent ones include the Nirbhaya rape case, the Sheena Bora case, and the Shimla rape case of 2017. Other than that, it is also utilized in identification of people during mass calamities. So now that you know what is forensic dentistry, what will you learn in a course of forensic dentistry? You will learn about how to obtain evidence, how to analyze it, and how to produce it in front of justice system. That is, you will learn things like identification of bite marks, identification of human remains, how to obtain DNA from a tooth, how to afterwards analyze those bite marks, how to do DNA analysis, how to present the evidence in court. You will also learn basics of ethics, law, things like cross-examination. So all these are taught in various courses. But which are the most prominent courses out there? The most prominent ones include both part-time and full-time courses conducted by Indian Dental Association, SDM Darwad, DY Patil Mumbai, GDC Mumbai and also by Gujarat University. You would learn about how to obtain evidence, how to analyze it and how to produce it in front of justice system. That is, you will learn things like identification of bite marks, identification of human remains, how to obtain DNA from a tooth, how to afterwards analyze those bite marks, how to do DNA analysis, how to present the evidence in court. You will also learn basics of ethics, law, things like cross-examination. So all these are taught in various courses. But which are the most prominent courses out there? The most prominent ones include both part-time and full-time courses conducted by Indian Dental Association, SDM Darwad, DY Patil Mumbai, GDC Mumbai and also by Gujarat University. Now once you do that, what kind of jobs which are available? There are basically two jobs which are present. Number one, joining academics, that is joining one of these institutes where you teach others how to conduct forensic dentistry. And number two is to solve cases on a regular basis. Before we move forward to what our opinion is about forensic dentistry, do not forget to follow us on Instagram because we post exclusive content out there as well. Now, when you should do forensic dentistry? Number one. If you are absolutely sure that after passing forensic dentistry, you will be able to get into academics. That is, you will be able to join one of those universities who trains others about forensic dentistry. Go ahead and do it. But if you are assuming that after passing forensic dentistry, you will earn a living by just solving cases 
on forensic dentistry basis i would like to tell you currently it is very difficult because the record keeping in our country is not really good what do we mean by record keeping during the investigation phase you need some records to be compared to help you to come up with evidence yes maybe in the future the record keeping quality in our country would improve and then forensic dentistry might be used on a regular basis through cases but till then it is slightly bleak yes if you have an interest in the field you want to learn something new that's why you're doing forensic dentistry you're okay doing general dentistry throughout the day and then solve a few cases here and there then also you can think about doing forensic dentistry i'm dr satish kumar the skies intent our aim here is to help dentists succeed